Dr. David Knox, welcome to Daily Extra. Thank you. Recently, you broke the news of a patient of yours who contracted a Truvada-resistant uh, strain of HIV. And until recently, people always thought that if taken as directed, Truvada protected you almost 99% of the time. Now, with this new case, were those people wrong? No, those people weren't wrong, actually. All the clinical studies did show prior to this one case that when you took the medication every single day, Truvada, there were actually no new HIV infections. But what happens in a clinical trial is often different from what happens in the real world setting. So we were surprised, however, when we did find that this patient had taken his medication every single day and did become HIV infected. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, practices that were involved with this patient? You said he was taking his pills once a day. Was he wearing condoms? So initially I believe there was condom use when he started PrEP two years ago. And then as he um, continued on his PrEP treatment, I think he was using condoms less and less. Should people be concerned about this uh, form of HIV becoming more prevalent? So we know that this particular strain of HIV and the mutations that we saw in this uh, individual strain of HIV is extremely, extremely rare. Just how rare, we don't know. Um, but that's kind of what we're working on now is monitoring for the frequency of these types of mutations. Okay, and there hasn't been any other instances of this particular mutation anywhere? There's been no other documented of a breakthrough HIV infection while on Truvada. So Joe on the street is uh, thinking of taking PrEP. How should he take this particular new information into his decision on whether to go on PrEP? I would say that this one case of breakthrough infection while on PrEP shouldn't discourage anybody who's considering PrEP from starting PrEP if it's right for them. And that's a conversation they have to have with their physician. Um, we know from the clinical trials and the demonstration projects which mimic a real world um, scenarios while taking PrEP, that PrEP is a highly, the Truvada as PrEP is a highly effective medication. Um, but uh, this shouldn't, this one case shouldn't discourage someone who's considering PrEP from starting PrEP. And what about those who are already on PrEP? Uh, same thing. So uh, this one case shouldn't discourage or shouldn't um, cause people who are on PrEP to stop using PrEP if they're still at high risk. Um, now mitigating that risk with condom use is something that everybody should consider who's on PrEP. And what about those who already decided that they don't use condoms because they're taking Truvada? So the best way to protect yourself against HIV is to use PrEP and uh, consistent condom use. So um, it's, a base, it's basically an individual decision weighing the risks and the benefits of PrEP use with condoms for HIV prevention. So then there's the 99% effectiveness rate. Uh, how does this new information affect that statistic? So that number doesn't change because that number came from a clinical trial which showed at least 99 prevention efficacy for HIV infection if you adhere to the medication. What people need to do with this new information is um, take it and decide how it's going to affect their sexual practices. So the best way to prevent HIV is with PrEP and condoms. So you presented this at an HIV conference down in Boston uh, on a Friday. And that same Friday, Health Canada actually changed their website uh, to, uh, the, to making sure that the Truvada is now listed as a pre-exposure prophylactic. Now that's, uh, that's been a big change, there's been a lot of activism around that. Is this particular case going to affect how the drug is rolled out or maybe even its Health Canada approval or anything like that? So you're correct. It was the day after the presentation the medication was approved by Health Canada as so Truvada was approved as um, received indication for pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV. Um, now, its uh, indication in Canada for pre-exposure prophylaxis includes the use of condoms. So this one case will not affect how, um, will not affect how Health Canada has um, indicated the medication. David Knox, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thanks.